86 film, Earth versus Flying Saucers. Breathtaking spectacle. 40 years later, the images are a little more extreme. Yeah, just a little more extreme. Scenes like that in the new film Independence Day have stirred a new frenzy over flying saucers. Our Wendy Walsh discovered even celebrities are looking to the stars. And then what? Checkmate. Is that all we are? Just pawns in a cosmic chess game? God help us. Independence Day has made us think, is there life out there? The stars of ID4 are convinced we are not alone. Do you believe in aliens? I think there has to be something out there. Earth is such a minute part of this, this vast universe. There has to be something else out there. You look up at the sky for long enough, you see all manner of wondrous things. In fact, there are plenty of wondrous things to be found in the universe. Visitors here to the Griffith Park Observatory in Los Angeles, California, can find out more about real-life celestial objects like the moon, stars, asteroids, even nebulae. But some mortal stars in Hollywood seem to be seeing something extra. Star Trek's William Shatner says aliens helped him when he was lost in the desert. Boxing great Muhammad Ali reportedly saw them flying over New York's Central Park, and supermodel Christy Brinkley says she saw a flying saucer land at an underwater base in Greece. There were four lights like this, like pinpoints like this, and all of a sudden they pulsated out then back in, out then back in, and then they went pew! It seems the celebrities who have been touched by space aliens are in touch with America. Yesterday on our Extra Opinion poll, we asked, do you believe in UFOs? 88% of you said yes, you do believe. 12% said no. Count John Horrigan in the no column. The paranormal researcher who consulted on the new CD-ROM, The Unexplained, tells me celebs are no different than you and me when it comes to a belief in extraterrestrial life. People are looking skyward, that perhaps humankind is not the top of the food chain. Perhaps humankind has a predator. Wow. Well, Libby, I have seen that predator alien. In fact, it's called the Liberator. It's a deadly creature from the Weaver galaxy who will do anything to free her people. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Scary. Well, guess what? I got one of my own. Take a look I'm at sure this. You do. Take a look at this sighting. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> the, ah! the good guy, a friendly little freak. His, his complexion isn't always green, just when he's had something bad to eat. Apparently, there. Have we taken this a little too far? Yeah, I think we have. I think it's time to take a break. Yeah, we'll be good. right back. <laughs>